Howdy everyone. Been a few weeks now, I guess. Got over being sick, trying to finish off the year strong at work. And I've been struggling with what to make a video on because the truth of the matter is, guys, there's a small percentage of you that will watch this that's been consistent in learning. And if, if you already know, the Holy Spirit's the one that's supposed to guide us in the truth. The fact that the videos that contain the most amount of spiritual, biblical meat in this channel, and, and, and there's, honestly, there's not many that actually, that actually put it out there, but the few that do, um, they are ignored, covered up, be it by the algorithm, which I, I firmly believe is just a series of switches for devils to flick and throw thinking that they're putting a wrench into God's plan but the reality is this is about free will right so what that means is is Christianity in general um, specifically the Western type it's sad that there are types at all but um, we've we've we we have collectively slumped into a position where we really don't want anything to do with the truth and we want to maintain as much of a hold on earthly matters earthly security fitting in, getting along, social structure. Um, I heck, just the fact that, you know, whether or not you're on social media or not, a lot of the big name so-called Christian accounts are out there teaching that somehow Christ is demanding that we turn everything in this world into a Christian nation, going completely against what he told us many, many times, that this world hates us and that it's run by the devil and that anything that that smacks of any type of earthly dominion that doesn't have Christ at the absolute head. And I, I don't mean anything that smacks of, of a Christian nation without the actual Lord in, in full charge is, is likely a sham, likely, uh, likely something that he warned us about in Matthew 24 about not being deceived. We are getting well recently, and, and again, I, I don't claim to know. I don't claim to know perfectly the end time scheme. I know what the Bible says, and I know what the Spirit points me towards. And I've shared the mass majority of that with you guys. Recently, you know, Elon Musk uh, ramping up his outrage machine against the, the the offenders of free speech. You know, the the, the so-called communists and fascists and so on that are trying to take down anything that is um, being put across, in a worldly sense of course, as truth. Obviously the mass majority of these truth tellers out there are either putatively Christian on the surface so as to fool you, to get you to follow them, to have faith and hope in what they say, Alex Jones, um, all the other big talking heads, Matt Walsh's and so on. They are, they're all seeming to amalgamate. Uh, for example, regarding Alex Jones specifically and Elon. Recently, Elon decided to bring him back on. The things that Elon said not not two years ago about what he thought about Alex Jones essentially pointed to him pandering to the left and trying his best to make it seem like he would never have somebody come on, come back to his platform that, that said so many horrible things about things that have happen to children, supposedly, or, or however you view that. I, I, I don't want to venture into the maybes or the the conspiratorial crap because I really don't care, because that's what it is. But they're all starting to get together. And they're all starting to seem like they're kind of a, an action, uh, like a, like a, almost like a superhero team, if you will. You've got your Joe Rogans in there. I'm sure there will be others here pretty quick. But as you guys all know from Daniel basically 8 through 11, it's alluded to a couple of times, directly spoken of once, but there's not a big crowd of people that support Antichrist in his rise. And remember, the, the Greek is beautiful in this because it's it, it very clear that you know, Antichrist is not just against Christ, but he's going to proffer himself as a perfect replacement. There is so much of this 
new conservative movement that is designed specifically to fool you. It's why personally I have a very easy time seeing the whole battle between, you know, Antichrist and the King of the South as the, the, the King of the South leading over the Muslim nations because, I mean, who do all these people support? They all support Israel. They do so in such a matter-of-fact kind of way that it's it's bringing to the surface all the all the training that the Western Church has had regarding the modern institution called Israel, as if it was all a setup and it was all a plan, right? And and who are the people that are are being put first and foremost in front of Western faces as like the the the. power base, if you will, of terrorism. Of course, it's the Muslims. It's the, the, the Islamic nations, you know, the people, the people that were, I'm not going to, you guys can look into this stuff. There's really, there's not much to be said about it other than, you know, Israel, basically the one that's there today, they got into power and into place by um, displacing the, the Islamic folk that lived in Palestine at that time. And I, I take neither side because I fully believe both sides are controlled by the same entities. But it should come clear to you guys that this ruse is being drug across our plates so as to get us to look toward the answers. And I, I, I don't like, I don't like the man personally. I, I enjoyed some of the things that came along with his presidency. But the reality is Donald Trump's probably going to win again. You know, and, and, and I'm, I would be surprised if he didn't, not because of his policy positions or the fact that he is, you know, super popular at this point because he's the countervailing force to all this leftist nonsense. No, it's because he is the biggest supporter of modern Israel, I think, to ever be in the White House. At least outwardly, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure that there have been a number of presidents that uh, stood down when they should have spoken up that were likely just as much on their side but never once were they told to do what he's doing you know he's essentially he's controlled he's just like the rest of them you'll see the red Kabbalah bracelets and all this other nonsense and it's it's not too big a stretch to think that they're all in on it it's said that the group that brings Antichrist to the fore is small but powerful. Oh, the sun's right in your eyes. There we go. Help of just a few, I guess, is what it says. Uh, I really, I really do think we're seeing the beginnings of that. I really do think we're seeing all the West being, being subsumed into this northern faction if you will sorry about the blinding sun there guys maybe that means there's hope there's always hope Let's see if this one hey look at that anyhow I have a feeling things are about to get a lot crazier I don't necessarily mean financially or militarily but spiritually speaking, there's a certain amount of unspoken backing that likely is technological in this end times nonsense that we're going to start seeing. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the anti-aging crowd, but things are getting wild. Not that we know everything, but each time we take a big step into um, the, the, the aging sphere and how how these technologies are being uh, pieced together bit by bit to kind of reconstruct the human genome. It's, it's, it's neato, but it's frightening as all get out. Because remember, a lot of the promises that come from the Lord are always faked by Satan and his Antichrist will be the ultimate salesman. And I don't think it's too far of a stretch to think that some, some false version of living forever is on the docket. Be it in, in, in actual AI tech or 
by them, you know, suturing up the genetic structure of our body to be able to withstand the, the pressures of life so as to live longer and longer. Obviously, we all know, at least those of us who are paying attention, that they're all going to fail. But it's going to be... It's going to be a very, very powerful wine. It's not going to take much to draw people in for good. And it's no surprise that the Western Church is so stuck on earthly matters. That's, that's what they want. So I'm going to do my best to keep making videos when I can. But the truth of the matter is, is they get hidden more and more. And when I just speak and point out what I think is the obvious of what's going on around us, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's useful. Maybe there is, maybe, maybe there is some point to this beyond just learning because I'm, I know I'm harsh and I'm very stern and I say, uh, absolute things. I don't think there's anything that's beyond what the Bible says, but that is definitely for you guys to decide. Anyhow, I'm hoping everyone is well. I hope you guys are eyes open and paying attention. We're not seeing faith wither away just yet. This is not the great apostasy because they still actually hold Christ as Lord. When they start abandoning that is when the apostasy starts. So, I guess we'll just have to see how it, how it how it unfolds. We have to see some sort of digital currency come along, otherwise the mark of the beast won't won't hit home the way that he wants it to. There's more, but I I, I really do think that this whole conservative uprising we're seeing in Europe and here in the United States is just the beginning of the rise of all the horns, and then followed by the Antichrist and. I look forward to seeing Moses and Elijah. That's going to be cool. Anyway. Comment down below if you like. Share the channel. Remember that I painstakingly went through all of my teacher's works to try and get the revelation information out there. The videos are kind of fast, but they're well worth your time. I pray you are all doing well. We'll talk to you guys soon.